What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Clutch John YouTube page. I'm back in the shop working. But today is not going to be a race car related video. I wasn't going to... Uh, I wasn't gonna film this this little project I got, but I said, well, I might as well film it. Somebody may take an interest in it. But uh, this is my 96 Impala. I think I'm gonna restore it. It got air ride on it. So I'm gonna totally redo the air ride system and uh, make it more reliable. I'm gonna paint the car. See where it's been sitting out in the sun and the paint is faded. It has music in it. I think I'm gonna take the music out of it to give me some trunk space. I gotta redo the interior. See the seats are in bad shape. And got it. TVs in it. I'm gonna upgrade those. And uh, on my airbags, I'm gonna try to get they leaking. So I'm gonna take that whole system off and try to get it to where the whole air, they don't leak bad, but the car sit for like two or three hours, they'll leak down. And my whole purpose of this bill is I would just wanna get something, a uh, four door car that I can cruise in, me and the boys, you know, take some beach trips or Go to like some scraping the coast uh, car shows and let them sit in the back. Watch this on TV, play them some video games. That's why I'm gonna take the music out of the trunk. So we can have all that trunk space for luggage. So the main purpose of this bill is to just get something to ride in and travel if we want to. We got the 65 over there, but it's not really for traveling like that. So that's where I want this car to be. So with all that said, I'm gonna got a lot of stuff I need I'm gonna do to it. I think I'm gonna put some rims on it. At one point I had some 24s on it. Not sure if I'm gonna go back with 24s or go with something small. It also has some, when I first, when I first got it, it had some 20 inch uh, gold datings on it. And uh, ironically, those wheels went out of style, but they back in style now. I really wish I would have kept those wheels. I could put slap them on from time to time and be riding in style. But I also want to need to do some the motor. The motor is all original. It got like 150,000 miles on the car, so I'm not going hot rod it. I'm gonna keep it all original, but I need to do some upgrades on it. Clean up. The engine bay. Got that exhaust leak right here. Got a, it's been hard trying to find that hose. They go from here to here. Try to fix that. Clean up the frame. Here's the, uh, some of that air ride stuff on the front. I moved it. It was located up here. But I moved it because you saw I kept messing up all my hoses and stuff. So that was just a temporary job. So I'm gonna mount that neat. I'll probably change the headlights. I got a lot of stuff I wanna do to it. So I'm gonna just document it on YouTube and since the work gotta be done anyway, might as well turn the camera on. Somebody may wanna see what we're doing. So today, the first thing, so today what I'm gonna do is, uh. I'm gonna pull the speaker box out of it so I can get up in here. That's the air ride tank. And the pump's over here to the side so I can get to the air ride system to see what I need to order. I'm probably gonna take the bags off of it and pressure test them. See if they leaking, if I need to buy some new bags. And uh, I'm gonna start that today. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the airbags off. And uh, they just bolt up at the top with the old 
shop bolted up. And they just sit down in the A arm at the bottom. You see they already loose at the bottom. So all I need to do is take the top bolt out of it. I'm taking them off because I want to see, uh, I'm going to pressure them up. And probably sit them in some water or something. And see if they're leaking. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to determine what all I need to order. I just know how deliveries are nowadays. I don't know how long stuff can be on back order. And I don't want this to be a long drawn out project. So I want to go ahead and order whatever I need for the air ride system as soon as I can to get it here. Or to go ahead and get on the list to get it uh, shipped whenever it becomes available. All right, guys, so I got the passenger side airbag out. You can see I labeled everything. I can make sure I put it back exactly how it came out. You can see right here, we have been rubbing on the frame. We're probably gonna grind that frame out a little more. I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy new bags yet or not, but I'm at least pressure testing this some water if they're leaking. I'm going to go over here and take the passenger's driver's side out. Right, so now I got both of them off. The driver's side and the passenger side. So what I'm going to do now is try to rig up some kind of way to put air to them so I can uh, pump them up and leak, leak check them. All right, so this is why I read up the chicken. Just tied the lines in together with this T. Put this on there. So now I can just pump them up to probably 100 PSI. I'm gonna, set them, I'm gonna fill this up with water, set them in there and see how they leak. Alright, so I got them pumped up. I know you guys can see it on the video, but this one here is making, it does have some, some small pinholes in it, right there in the crease. So it is leaking a little bit. Not a lot, but it is leaking. And this one is the same way. Got some little pinholes right there. And that probably comes from them sitting a long time without air in them. Probably just dry riding a little bit. So you can see every now and then a bubble will come up. So they probably will be okay. But like I said, I'm gonna try to get this system all the way airtight. So where it don't leak any. I know it can be done because they run these airbags and stuff on big trucks. And even the brakes on those are air brakes. So it is stuff out there that I can use to make it airtight. And all these fittings right here, I always had a problem with all these. And they always leak. You can see the bubbles coming through. So I'm definitely gonna try to go with a different style fitting for that. But I think what I'm gonna do is get the part number off these and see if I can get some on order. Take the back off also and check those. All right guys, so now I gotta take working in the trunk. Get ready to take the uh, rear airbag, so. See it right there. So I gotta pull the music out. So I can pull the tank out. And get in the trunk and get to the top. 
bolt on the rear airbag so I can get them off. So that's what I'll be doing next. I got the music out. Now I can get in here to my to my airlines. It's on my rear airbags and disconnect those. And also I can get in here with my socket and take the nut off the top of the airbag so I can pull it out the bottom. Alright guys, so I got the rear airbags off. I'm going to test these and see if they leaking. Alright, so you can see this one got a pinhole leak in it. Right here in the crease. It's leaking around the fitting right there also. I need to replace it. This one appears to not be leaking, but it's leaking in the fitting. I really need to find a solution for all those fitting leaks. I see this one got a pinhole somewhere else. I think well I'm gonna just go ahead and replace them all. Get the part numbers off of them. See if I can order them directly from a manufacturer. They made by Firestone versus ordering them from Airtech or Air Ride place. Try to avoid that markup. Alright guys, so we got all four airbags off and tested. Got the music out. I think that's all I'm going to do today as far as working on the car. I got to go do some research. See if I can find some replacement bags. And also look and see what kind of control systems out there. Let's try if I'm going to upgrade the controls on the air ride. And I got to kind of map out how, how I want it. See what kind of hoses or fittings I can get that won't leak as bad. So as far as this video, I think that's it. Appreciate y'all watching.